40 years, Carol, nothing like this. You point out that people are exhausted, investors, C-suite types. Everybody's exhausted because we had a double bear market, a dual bear market in both stocks and bonds, and that, that is fairly rare. Yeah, exactly. And I think that exhaustion will carry over. You've seen some volatility, extra volatility, if you will, in the markets this week. And part of that is as people are starting to check out, you'll see everyone dealing more with the major storm that many of us are 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 faced with and the travel issues. And and next week I would expect even more volatility, even lighter trading. People are just ready to put the period on this year and get a fresh start and fresh look at next year. We know about the discounting mechanism, uh, Carol, of the stock market. So if the first six months of 2023 are more of the same, just for, for argument's sake, let's say we, we have this choppy sort of range-bound uh, trading, does that mean for most of 2023 the Fed is still in tightening mode because we don't even get out of it by the end of the year if the market discounts six to nine months in advance? Well, it whether it's six to nine months or 12 to 18 months, I, I think what the Fed will do is continue to watch the data. The data is moderating in some of the right places. It's tough for the Fed and economists to, to figure out how to project that forward because we've never been in this situation before where it was a medical shutdown. It wasn't an economic shutdown. But you've got some major, some good major floor underneath things in the housing market. You have demographics where there's a, there would be a lot of demand out there if people get used to the new prices in the economy. Yeah. Yeah. It's the consumers that are driving it, and consumers are, are feeling, first and foremost, that the prices are down at the pump. So you're seeing that confidence creep in. So there's while it might be volatile, people are getting more used to the current event, the current set of events. Inflation is running higher, but not as at a rapid a rate as it was last year. So you've got right. some moderation there. I want to, um, Jackie, I want to get to you, but I, it's just in the notes here. It's, it's in yellow. It will all, for, for Carol, it will all come down to how consumers behave in NY, in New York. And there are people that think that. I think you yeah. meant in the new year, how consumers in behave. But I know yeah. people, yeah, sorry, people I'm that might be year. on this set, people that actually are. I, I, uh, uh, that is not me. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> maybe they're not. On maybe, the set. <laughs> maybe not on the set. Today, but there are people that think that the only thing that happens in the world is no. happening now. No, that's not right. what you meant, though, Carol. You meant in the new no. year. I, okay. Especially but I was confused because it just in the it says in, 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 in NY. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So new Jackie's year. yeah, slogging, slogging for the first six months. More slogging. Yes, Joe, thank you for having me, and good morning, everyone. I do think it will be a slog for the first half, certainly, of 23. So people who are coming out of 22 with that exhaustion you were mentioning um, should get ready for some more. We think it's going to be a slog for the Fed. We think it's going to be a slog for the markets. You know, Carol mentioned the consumer. The consumer is just really still very strong. They have cash balances at the banks that are 30 percent above where they were pre-pandemic. Even when you look at the lower-income cohort, they're still 12 to 15 percent above where they were pre-pandemic. So they have cash to spend. They've certainly demonstrated a desire to spend. We're seeing that. What they're spending on is changing, and they're moving more to experiences than goods, but they're spending. And they have confidence to spend, because the jobs market is about as good as we've seen in the last 40 or 50 years. So they have a job, and they have confidence that they can get another job if they need to. So that's a really tough nut for the Fed to crack when the U.S. consumer is 70 percent of the economy. And so we think this is going to take time, and this is going to be a real slog for the next eight to nine months. Yes, the market is a discounting mechanism, and it will look forward, but we're not close to cutting. We're not close to pivot yet. And right now, the market thinks we cut in November, and that's just too soon.